But what I want to talk to you about today is what I call dynamic response. And, you know, there's all kinds of different monikers for this in the industry. But, um, you know, marketing automation gives us the ability to really create micro segments. And this is where the power really becomes applicable. Because, you know, everybody talks in their sales pitches, no matter which software they're using, they talk about the right message to the right person at the right time. And really what we're saying is that the key to marketing automation is creating these hyper-specific micro-segments, okay? And what dynamic response is about is rather than pushing information out and kind of force-feeding somebody down your marketing funnel, it's about creating different checkpoints in your business and in your process so that people bubble up to you and reach out to you and, and have engagements that feel highly specific and very timely uh, and create those types of interactions. And so it's really kind of flipping the marketing automation on its end and looking at it from um, your customers pulling back from you as opposed to you pushing onto them. And so probably the easiest way to talk about it is giving a specific example. Um, so one of the things that I talk about a lot is using things such as lifetime customer value or RFM based campaigns for recency, frequency, and monetary. So that as somebody crosses over a threshold with you in their relationship as a customer, so let's think about a membership site and somebody that has renewed, they made their first payment on a monthly and now they make their second monthly and they cross over into that third monthly payment, that we have a responsive event that triggers in regard to that and kicks off an automation. And that automation may be something to open up bonus content and say, hey, thanks so much for being with us the past 90 days. We really want to reward you for that. And because we, you know, you've been with us, we cherish our membership and guess what? We've got this huge bonus that we just opened up, go check it out here, right? Um, and of course, always teasing them for what's coming month, the next month to keep that retention along. But the concept is that rather than, you know, pushing out all the time, we're looking for these little engagement opportunities to respond to events that they've just taken. And this can be addressed in so many different ways throughout your system. Um, think of a billing failure situation and somebody clicks on the link to update their payment information. Well, what if you treated that as if it were a sale? It really is, but people don't think of it this way. They think of it as a billing failure. I'm just trying to get some money to get my credit card updated, et cetera. But what if you treated it as a cart abandonment sequence? And so somebody goes to click on that link to update their credit card and then we give a timer we wait 20 or 30 minutes, we see they haven't made the update, they didn't actually complete the transaction. And so we can send them a quick text and say, hey, I saw you're trying to update your credit card information, are you having trouble? Here's our phone number, here's our text us at this number. Um, you know, we'll get it straightened out for you. So dynamic response is really about responding to all of these events that transpire in our business and learning how to carve up our processes into these little unique opportunities where we can reach out and have a very specific and a very timely message to our prospect or customer.